Hi guys, welcome back to the painting channel. Today it's a very seasonal snowy picture, so let's roll that intro. Let's get on and see what happens. Hi guys, welcome back. As I said just now, it is a seasonal snow painting in watercolour. I wanted to do a little study to show you how I create some snow, some shadows and some of the effects when it comes to the landscape. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. Hi guys, welcome back. Let's get on with this lovely little snow scene and uh, yeah, we'll see where it takes us. Now, the reference uh, clearly shows no people in it, but I felt that I wanted to put a couple of figures in this one walking along the track. So what I'm going to do is a very, very simple drawing, and I'm just putting in a few of the points that are really sort of necessary just to give myself an idea. All right, enough is enough. Our sky we're gonna do first, so let's get on. Now for the brushes I'm gonna be using, I've not got very many out. They're all Rosemary Company, they're all red dots. And I've got two sort of rounds, a number 10 and a number five, so double, almost double the size. I have got a small round and I've got my rigger if I need them. But also I've got this lovely half inch squirrel. Um, no, this is not a red dot but it's a squirrel, but it is extremely floppy when it's wet and it can dance and cause all sorts of mayhem on your paper. So be aware of this one, but I do love it. And I got it as a bit of a novelty for me. Um, you can see the state of it where it's been in my case for a long time. But let me just show you if I just wet this one up, you can see, let's get rid of some of that. You can see how it all just forms up again but it is as floppy as it comes. And uh, it's quite a nice brush to play around with when you've got lots of twigs and sticks to work with. All right, so I'm just going to come in now and I'm going to put in my lovely, sort of what I like, my Roland Hildreth type sky. And I'm just gonna make a simple pale wash. Now, I want a very, very weak solution. I just wanna come in Okay, so this is pretty much dry and certainly dry enough to be carrying on with. What I'm going to do now is come in with some lovely cobalt blue and start forming the blue between my clouds. Now I'm going to make quite a bit and I want it quite thick. I don't want too much water. I want it quite thick, full of pigment so that when it's there, it actually makes its presence felt. Okay, so this has dried up and it's dried up with a few horrible marks that you could get away with, but I'd rather not see them there if I can help it. There's not an awful lot I can do. What I can do is I'm gonna come in with a slight shade to the clouds themselves. Okay, now we're gonna come in with a little bit of a schminker-ish 
I think there's a little bit of the other one in there as well. But I think we've got that lovely warm colour. But I don't want too much water in my brush. But I don't want too strong a mix either. So I'm going to come across here now. And I'm just going to put in a few subtle shading marks to some of these clouds. As you wish if you don't have the ultramarine violet don't worry go with the ultramarine blue you can always tap in a little bit of magenta or alizarin to it to come up with something fairly very similar okay now now you do need to be a little bit careful where you're going and just pick out your shadowy areas of your snow We've got a bit more interest on in our track and our road and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in my more distant trees so I'm going to predominantly use the same blue color the blue violet here and the ultramarine blue to that I'm going to put in a bit of neutral tint this is a Daniel Smith one this is somewhat cooler you can see how much bluier grayer color that is creating because all I want to do is come in here with a very dull lifeless blue in a sense and just scratch across now if this were rough paper and you can easily do this on rough paper then you can uh, let that bounce across the surface but I'm not using that I am using um, some hot press as I said earlier main body of trees now I'm going to come in I'm going to use this cooler color with some neutral tint I'm going to come in with some of uh, the warmer one but that will be my first or last coat sorry what I want to do now is come in with some of my sienna and make that quite warm Alright, I'm going to leave 
everything as it is going to come back to the round brush and I'm going to add in some more orange to this mix make it a lot lighter a lot warmer and I'm just going to come down here with some more information into our hedge or whatever that is through there Okay, so what I'm going to do now is come in with some indigo, which is a very deep blue color, very dark, really lovely blue color, and a little bit of orange into that. Okay, now we've got a strong dark, and I want to come in here with very, very strong accents of dark. Don't forget, the paint will dry up lighter, so make sure that you come in with enough strength in it to start with. And this is going to be the area of debris branches and stuff through there now this is at a point where you may want to pick up your rigger you may want to pick up something uh, with finer bristles and start suggesting some of the shade and colors on this sort of darkness on our hedge Just going to take the heat out of this dark mix. I want to put in a few taps here now. These are where you've got pockets of information on the bank where there's a little bit of dirt still popping through areas of snow, maybe along the base of the edge of the road. There's a little bit of information through there, like that. Lots of little taps, nothing too much. I think that's enough that we've achieved what we need to there and what I would like to do is come in with a slightly milder color I'm going to go back to this one and uh, just sort of just gently suggest that there is tracks or something in our snow through there let that disappear along there okay so we've got a bit of a track now all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with some greens and I'm just going to have some fun, I think, with that lovely squirrel. All right, let's just pick this up now and I want to come in and I want to scratch around with this squirrel. And I do mean I'm just scratching around with it like this. Let's go back to a rigger, which a lot of you will have. I'm going to come in with a nice warm but darker mix using some indigo here and some raw sienna. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to sort of very much do a very similar thing.
and some of them are going to come into the little bit of snow field here but before we do that I just want to pop back with a little round brush number five and then just quickly pop back in with some blue violet and some ultramarine blue just pop those in one or two places suggesting the little pockets of color and shadow across this field Now it isn't as thick a growth as the photograph suggests but again please don't worry about that. We have a general feeling and I think that really does work for our picture. So we've got a nice bit of road or track. Um, I'm not putting the people in. We've got a few birds in the sky and I think we're good to call it a day. I'm just going to put in my signature over one side out of the way. Done. Okay. All right. I think we're good. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. A few mistakes were made along the way and we got out of them, especially towards the end when I just slopped a load of paint over the top here. But with a bit of care, you can get rid of it. Nothing is showing, nothing is detrimental. Uh, got a bit of a horrible mark there, but we got most of that out of the way. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I do hope that you get something from it to move on with in your own watercolors. Now, as always, the reference will be up on the Patreon for you to download. I do hope you have a go at it and put your versions up onto our community page in due course. It just remains for me to say thanks ever so much to each and every one of you for the support that you have shown me during the course of the year and long may that continue and I look forward to your company in the next video which will be in January 2023 and on that note I wish each and every one of you a very happy very safe and enjoyable Christmas with your friends your families and your loved ones and I see you all in 2023 happy new year to you for that as well take care bye bye Windows down, scattered clouds, smell of spring, from sight. Open road, you sit in close, let's go somewhere far away, as if all I